Praise God. We give God all the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. We thank you so much, O oh God, for giving us strength even to live for today. We thank you. We bless you, precious Holy Spirit. We pray that you take absolute control. Please speak to us today too in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Brethren, I welcome you to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We thank Him for giving us the opportunity to listen to His Word each and every day. We say, God, we thank you. We'll take our devotional reading from Romans chapter 12, the verses 14 to 21. Romans 12, 14 to 21. Let's hear the Word of God. Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. Be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scripture says, I will take re revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. Instead, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, feed, give them something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals of shame on their heads. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Oh, praise the Lord. This is so good. Brethren in the Lord, this is practical Christianity. And Paul writes this to the Roman Roman church or the Romans that they will not, no longer live the way they used to live. We give God all the glory for ushering us into another new year. We pray that this new year will be a special year that will live in the life of God. It will be a special year that we will see ourselves as representatives of God here on this earth. That it will be a year that we will know our identity in Christ. So that whatever step we take, we take it according to the word of God. For in him is life and the life is the light of man. Jesus Christ is the word in which when we abide, we can live the God life. This year, let it be that you know that you are a spiritual being. Let it be that you know that you have been made in the image of God. Let it be that you know that you are the mouthpiece of God. Let it be that you know that you are part of the body of Christ. So that every step you take, every step we take this year, will be according to the word of God. Do not let the world dictate to you that this that someone has done to you, just revenge or just do the same to the person. The Bible is telling us today that, dear friends, never take revenge, never. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. So if we fight for ourselves, God will not fight for us. But if we leave everything into the hands of the Lord, the Lord himself will fight for us. He says that even our enemies, when they are hungry, we should feed them. God needs them. He needs the sinner. He hates sin. So when a sinner runs to him, he will wash the sinner with his blood, just as he has washed us with his blood. Let us commune with people who are also ready to know God. If someone is in sorrow, wipe the person's tears by having empathy. And if the person is also happy, rejoice with the person. Do not envy the person. Do not hate the person. This is what the word of God is telling us, that this year will be a year that will leave everything we do to the Most High to take control. He says that do all you can to live in peace with everyone. So if we should owe somebody anything, it should be living in peace. It should be loving one another. We can do all these things 
through the strength of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we pray, Holy Spirit, that help us that we'll live our lives as children of God, as people who know that we've been bought with a price. We thank you and we bless you for strengthening us and empowering us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen.